Good morning, welcome to a new vlog. I can't believe how on top of vlogging I am at the moment, to be honest. Like, I'm actually just pro YouTuber at this point. Like, literally give me my a million subscriber plaque. Anyways, I'm actually going to get my hair done. I need to book my Uber ASAP because it takes like 40 minutes to get there and it's already nearly 25. Oh my god, I'm going to be late. Um, I'm still debating. I just don't know whether to get my fringe done or not. Like, I really want to get it done, but... Like my logic is like my hair's already snapped off i feel like i've gone over this so many freaking times before but i just i don't know I, I i think either way i'm gonna get curtain bangs and like get shorter ones i feel like that's what i need because they're at an awkward stage because i've never had them cut in they've just snapped off so they're just awkward i might wear this so i have a trench coat oh pick up in one minute okay that is fabulous <laughs> To be fair, like, God. Oh, no. Okay. Be right there. Oh, no. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't think the outfit is really given. Like, <laughs> does this look... I look like I'm literally in a dressing gown. Like, literal dressing gown. Oh, and this lighting. Oh, my God, no. I actually look atrocious. This is not okay. I've just always got on the toilet because I'm going to... But I don't want to ask anyway, the colour is on now. It is currently 10 to 12. And I will update you because we need to wash this off, then dry my hair, then take out the extensions, then put them in. I've also said that I want the fringe. I can't go back. I actually can't because I'm like already really anxious about asking for it. Anyways. I've done sweet yeah. <laughs> So I got the fringe. Well, not the fringe. I did say, well, no, they've done what I want, by the way. But I did say to them, like, oh, yeah, I want curtain bangs. And they were like, yeah, that's probably going to be your better option. Which, I mean, this is curtain bangs. I know, like, I know everyone's going to be like, oh, my God, you're going to get sick of them within, like, a week. I'm aware. Because they're already in fury. <laughs> like, I can't just, like, talk my hair like i'll have to do that i already know they're gonna annoy me but you know what hair health and all that because it feels a lot thicker and healthier i actually prefer it as the fringe um rather than like the curtain bangs which is how they have been cut in. yeah i feel like it's gonna look really nice though when um like say if i have my hair up i feel like it just looks Really nice, really cute. But yeah, I know they're gonna annoy me. This is the current setup. This is honestly the best thing ever. Like, honestly, if you have never tried avocado and beans on toast before, please do. Like, please do. You might think, oh my god, that sounds absolutely rancid. But some people have avocado and egg on toast. Sorry, I can't get used to this. Um, People have avocado and egg on toast. So, like, I feel like that's more foul, you know? Like, avocado and beans. <gasps> oh my god like literally lord give me freaking strength it's so good but yeah i'm gonna eat this and then i'm gonna do my makeup actually because i actually need to film well, well no i don't <laughs> i need to film a transition for my hair because well i mean it was quite a big change but yeah i'm still just getting used to it um but yeah at the end of the day hair grows back i feel like I went brunette, I fricked that, and then I ended up absolutely loving it, and yeah, I mean, I know that having a fringe, like, you get sick of it and everything, so for me, it was more so getting these bits healthier again, and well, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I feel like I do really like it when it is, like, a fringe, but when it's, like, just the curtain bangs... I don't know. It's time to make freaking pancakes, bitches. Um, I, I I can't be asked going to the shop. I'm not gonna lie. Can't be asked going. So I'm thinking. I I think I have all the ingredients in to make pancakes, but I don't have any toppings. So not too sure what I'm gonna put on it. Cause like lemon would have been nice, you know. But I do have some golden syrup. A little bit of golden syrup. Actually, that's probably enough for my toppings. I do have 
a dairy milk bar that I could melt and drizzle on. I just can't be asking in the shop. Do you know what I mean? Like I just, I can't be bothered stepping foot out of my house again, you know? For <laughs> sake, I don't have any plain flour. I only have wholemeal flour and that's just not gonna work in this case. To be fair, right. But I do have caster sugar, baking powder, and then this isn't vanilla extract, it's vanilla bean paste, but it's gonna work the exact same, you know what I mean? Like, just leave me alone. <laughs> so, I do actually need butter as well. So, and I might as well get soya milk for these pancakes, and if they turn out good, then I can just use it like throughout the week. So we need, it, right, and then we can also get some toppings as well, because I feel like, we might as well actually make them because like who wants shitty pancakes you know honestly guys with the trench coat and also the hair i'm i'm not feeling me i'm not feeling me but in like the best way possible i just love it like i'm sorry literally who is she like literally mr gray will see you now <laughs> that's what it's giving that's what it's giving um <laughs> slight Dilemma, slight dilemma. They had no flour. Well, they did, but although they also didn't at the same time. I also lost a nail in the process. Honestly, these freaking acrylics lately are pissing me off because they're lasting a week and then just flinging off. I even took my bodysuit, like I didn't like, fasten my bodysuit again. Anyways, I'm actually really annoyed by that. Like this one, but anyways, that's just completely irrelevant. So, got the soy milk. I wanted to get vegan butter, but they only had vegan spread. So I mean, here we are. I could have got regular butter considering I'm not vegan anymore, but you know, then also got some honey and then also a lemon. Cause I'm just gonna have lemon and sugar, I think. Well, lemon and honey. So, and then, yeah. So they didn't have white flour, plain flour. They had white bread flour. But for me, this is gonna work because it says white flour on it, you know? You know? Like, what's the difference between white flour and white bread flour? Like, the ingredients are literally probably exactly the same. So, just call it white flour, you know? Like, let's not be, hey, like, let's not be thinking about it. It's a bit discriminating. Like, you can only make bread with it, bit rude. Anyways. <laughs> How many does this make? Apparently, it makes eight. So I don't know whether to half the serving or not. Oh God, there's no room, is there? There's just no room. I want eight, I want four. So should we just half it? I feel like we should half it, just to be safe, because this clearly is for multiple people anyway. So I feel like if we half it, then we're playing safe then, you know? So, right, let's half it. Okay. So, mix a flour, baking powder, and sugar in a bowl. Party exactly whatever you say. I'm actually really excited, you know. Okay, we've also got a scale, so we need we now need 180 90 grams of flour. I used to have flour and I'm really confused on where it's gone. Like just plain flour. Maybe I didn't. Who knows? Right. So we need 90 grams of this. Yeah, 90, we got it exact. You can't even really see what I'm doing. That sucks, that sucks, that sucks. Um, that you can't see what I'm doing. Do you want me to move you? This feels really weird though, because you can just see everything. I don't think there's anything that I'm ashamed of. There we go. That's probably better for you, isn't it? Right, so we've done the flour. One teaspoon of baking, well that doesn't help me, does it? Why can't you just tell? Ugh. Why does it say teaspoon? Only two teaspoons of caster sugar. Really? That seems really weird. Right, so it says baking powder is one teaspoon. So I'm gonna do half, this is half a teaspoon. How is it only two teaspoons of caster sugar? That just seems really strange to me, but I mean, whatever. Well, it's actually not, we're only gonna do, so that's half and then, I mean, I'm putting a bit more in. I'm putting a bit more in only because like, you know realistically why can't we just use the same bowl for everything you know what i mean like makes no sense but okay whatever it's like a lot i know why soy milk works the best and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract so we can do half a teaspoon of this putting butter in the microwave freaks me out because why are you going to start smoking at me like why are you doing that oh, see I feel like I'm not meant to be doing that, but like, what else are you meant to do to melt butter? Whisk this together. It always. You weren't meant to pour it all in. Oh shit. 
we need the other half of the frying pan oh my god what an idiot oh for god's sake okay i'm just gonna heat up a little bit of butter on this frying pan then oh frick off i'm finally finished i just topped it with the lemon honey and then a little bit of sugar on top i managed to actually get five pancakes out of that so i feel like not gonna lie pretty slay don't know what they're gonna taste like though like literally do not know what they're gonna taste like i'm hoping all the honey's like seep through oh i kind of wish i went with the golden syrup now <laughs> why did i pick honey I don't even like honey that much. Well, it's actually quarter to nine now. Sorry, what? Like, how is it already time for Love Island? I don't even know what I've been doing. I've been making these. Anyway, actual pancakes though, so good. I think I just need a bit more sugar then. But, slay on the left. Oh my God, I just got so much lemon. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> go, go Power Rangers. This is actually frightening. Good morning. <laughs> Imagine this just at the end of your bed. Good morning. <laughs> Coffee. I need to go down to the mail room actually, but I don't think I can go down like this because I think they'd be really, really freaking concerned. Oh, Dan. That was actually so relaxing. Not gonna lie. It low-key felt like I was on some bed. Not been on some beds in... Jesus, I don't even know how long now. I don't use them anymore. That's why I'm so pale. But I will say that um, the sunbeds did really help my skin. I never realised how much sunbeds actually did help my skin. Like with my like redness and stuff. Because, oh, you can tell which side I've slept on. Why, like the clips are literally fine on one side. One side, they're literally slipping out my head. Hey, right, as I was saying, why does this seem so zoomed in? I'm doing my skincare. This is the DL Burfair Spray Serum. But as I was saying, some beds really help my skin with like my redness and stuff. Because I don't know if it's rosacea or... I'm not really too sure if it's rosacea or not. So I don't want to say it is if it's not. Because like right now it's fine. But sometimes, like, to be fair, it's fine right now because I've got a bit of face, fake tan on. But usually here, it just, what the hell is that? Go away. Sometimes really help like get rid of that because obviously it was tan in your face. So I'm thinking that this LED mask will do the same. I'm, I'm not saying it's not going to tan my face, but I think it might help with like my rosacea. I do have, like you can kind of see now where I'm applying my skincare, like this part of my face and then, yeah. So like when I have no makeup on, I feel really weird because like other people with no makeup on, their skin's just like, well, not everyone, but a lot of people's skin without makeup on. Oh my God, what? can you stay clipped back, please? It's just like a blank converse. Like their skin tone is completely the same, but mine never has been, which I feel like, I don't know. It is annoying, but like, it's not the end of the world. Like, no one's gonna be like, ooh, look at your skin. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I actually am really getting back into my skincare because I used to be really into my skincare and then I just literally fell off, fell off with everything, to be fair. So, yeah. So that was Cordley Vinyl Pure Toner and then Road Glazing Milk. This is honestly just my favorite thing ever. Oh my God, I've used so much of it already, but I use it every single day. Anyway, and then this is the Cosarex Snail Mucin. Okay. Let's not think about it because if I think about it too much, it does actually repulse me, but it makes my skin really nice. And a face gym facial today, but I've also booked on for the TMJ booster thing because my jaw is just so it just this area is just hurting like 24 7 it is so painful so i'm hoping that they can maybe massage it out I'm just trying to see what i can do because it's just i'm like i'm actually in agony like most times because of how like yeah we're going to get that done at two o'clock so we've got a while to be fair it's only 11 now then of course my actual child like let's literally get i gave birth to this cordly vinyl perfect toner not toner serum um probably been through 10 bottles I'm not even kidding so good i just love it so much i've almost finished this i've been literally leaving it tipped up upside down 
every single day now just to try and get like every single last bit of it out surely now because i can't actually squeeze it out anymore so this is a like actual hack i don't know if i've came up with this but what well, i have in my head but put all like put air in it like don't make sure it's not like that i mean it probably could work but if you put air in it and then put the cap on then leave it upside down all the product is gonna like go to the bottom there's only like probably the tiniest bit ever then and just i just leave it like that all day and then when i want to use it um i'll use it but i've got my i've got my backup selection i've literally got them all all here there's just no need for this many lip balms but hey hi here we go god i have a package from road downstairs that is what i need to go and do now because i am so excited i think it's the new cleanser i really need to try this cleanser because everyone's saying it's amazing and i will be the judge of that because cleansers for me if that i know like i know if it's good cleanser or not and if it's one that like makes my eyes go funny and sting not good cleanser oh my god that was <laughs> what was that anyways uh no i'm actually a little rude ring the moment <laughs> i'm gone out it's also absolutely chucking it down today, which is not fun because I need to go to the Trafford Centre for my face in facial, face, facial. Um, but also it's Valentine's Day, so I don't want to get my hair wet. So obviously I've just washed it yesterday. I like dilemma, to be honest with you. I'll be fine though. I just can't find my umbrella. Oh my god, guys! I'm so excited. This, like, honestly, out of every single PR ever, getting road is just. Oh my god, there's a freaking advent calendar. Getting Road is just my favourite, literal favourite one ever. It just makes me very happy. I have a calendar. Models are gorgeous as well. Road's second birthday, 15th of June. Wow. Two years. The Road phone cases with the lip balms in, they only have them in an iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max and 15 Pro and Pro Max. I have an iPhone 13. Like, it's not going to fit, is it? So... I don't even have a 13 Pro. But then I'm like, oh, would it fit? But like this would just be a bit big. Because I don't know what a 13 Pro... I'm sure 13 Pro is the same size. So maybe I just get the 14 Pro case and hope for the best, you know? <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my God. Road, I love you. Road, I love you. So they've sent the pineapple refresh, but then they've also sent another glazing milk girls if you know you know this is my favorite thing ever peptide glazing fluid i need to start using this more actually and then the barrier restored this oh, restore cream and then an unscented lip treatment oh my gosh no because i actually i can't cope i can't cope i just love them i actually love them so much we have a surprise package seems like a liquid i don't know what it could be i actually really don't <gasps> Ooh. oh my god oh my god wait piss off <gasps> it's from ghd they've sent um two of the heat protectants which i freaking this is the best heat protectant ever it smells so good as well but they've got one for colored hair and then one for all hair types so it must be a new a new one. Oh no i'm actually so excited yeah they've changed packaging in a little bit oh my god i'm so excited and then they also sent a hair tool but i'm not sure what it is oh, it's straighteners oh my god it's straighteners oh fab it's actually so freaking weird. Like, I grew up with using my mum's hair straighteners from GHD for, from, like, I don't even know. Probably from, like, literally 2000. They are so old. She doesn't have them anymore. She actually has a new pair of GHDs, which I was able to give her. Whoa, they look weird. Like, they look different. I don't really use hair straighteners, I'm not going to lie, because I usually just use my, like, Dyson or my Shark. When I went to hairdressers yesterday, they did, like my hair really flicky but they use straighteners to do it and i can never do that but it looks so good i actually get ready to go to trafford center now um but i want to eat first i'm gonna make my i'm gonna just make some avocado on toast i think and then when i get back i might make myself some more pancakes and then we need to get actually ready 
for tonight, which I'm just so excited about. I actually just love going out for food with my boyfriend so much. I just love it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to the botanist because that's where he asked me to be his girlfriend. Um, so yeah. It's just really cute. Honestly, the day they asked me to be his girlfriend, he was so nervous. We'd been going on a few dates and um, <laughs> he was just sat there and he, like, he, do you know when someone like being off with you and I was like, oh my God, he hates me. He doesn't want to be here. He doesn't want to like see me anymore. And turns out he was just really nervous because he was asking me to be his girlfriend. But like, obviously I was going to say yes. So I was like, I was waiting. I was like, girl, you better ask me already. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm actually feeling really good this week. I don't know why. I just feel really good this week. Okay, girlies, it's time to go get our facial. I just put a little adenola set on with my Uggs, literally, obviously. My Lululemon jacket is actually in the wash. We look, It's in the wash. Um, wanted to wear that, but I can't. Um, but yeah, clip my little fringe bag. I'm actually so excited. I hope, really hope this gets sorted now. Like, I swear to God. But yeah, my Uber's on its way. We could get the tram. It's raining. I'm a lazy bitch, okay? A little outfit of the day. I actually love my hair now so much that it's had like a massive cut on it. I feel like it's just so much better. We've arrived at the rabbit center. <laughs> All right, I don't like vlogging in public. Like this is actually so awkward, but like I also look like an egg. So, then we're here. So I'm really excited to be I'm like 15 minutes early and I really need a wee. So maybe that's on the agenda first, but I'm so excited. Okay, I'm back from my facial appointment now and I genuinely feel like, basically she said that if I keep coming back every four weeks, like my face shape could change. And I genuinely feel like my face shape, I could, genuinely just be absolutely deluded and like just thinking it but why do i feel like oh my god sorry put like this side why do i genuinely feel like my face shape has changed am i being deluded right now like am i <laughs> am i like having a little moment it is feeling a little less painful so we'll see anyway i actually ordered some skims dupes of tiktok shop because i am obsessed with my amazon ones but they don't they're not that tight fitted they're these are probably going to be exactly the same but i'm not i've not ordered anything from tiktok shop in literally the longest time ever i used to be an addict like literally addicted to it i ordered two jumpsuits which i'm so excited for because I used to love my TikTok shop jumpsuits and I've just not had one in ages. So, ooh, I feel like it's going to be like tight on the waist as well. So I got a brown one and then I also got a black one. Oh, why does my camera die when I'm trying to show you things? Oh, I got a brown, a grey and a black actually. And then I got six tops. So I got three long sleeve and three short sleeve, I think. Unless I got like a few... Sleep. I can't really remember. Oh, they don't feel slinky. Oh, I kind of like my slinky tops though, but they do look like they're gonna fit smaller. They're more, they're more cotton, like they're cotton, which I think, like to be fair, the Skims ones are like that. But the ones that I've got now, they're a slinky material, which I do like. But I mean, what can you do? Guys, I'm not even gonna lie, I've had an absolute nightmare. I've literally been stressing. You're on my phone because my camera battery is charging because, and I, do you know what? I can't even be asked putting it all together. We actually look quite, do you know what? I actually look quite fine, it's fine. Um, oh my God. It's, Alexa, what time is it? Fuck off, I don't have time for you. It's half past. I wanted to be at my boyfriend's right now. It's fine though, the meal, it's fine. It's fine. I, why am I actually hyperventilating? It's cause my makeup went wrong. My hair went wrong. Like everything was just going wrong. So then I just freaked out. Also, my hair's freaking dropping out. I literally pinned it and everything. Honestly, guys. I'm just not in, in the mood. Anyway, I found my headphones now. I almost didn't write out my boyfriend's card. Make it make sense, Caitlin, honestly. But yeah, I'm just wearing this little outfit. It's actually just the most basic thing ever. But it's this top from PLT because, in fact, I'll show you. 
just this top from plt that i got like literally so last minute and then just some zara jeans and my little heels my literal little sorry like literal little heels um oh right okay <laughs> not what i wanted um hello um but yeah do you know what i feel like it's actually quite cute my hair's just completely dropped out i actually can't i can't be asked but anyway i'm just gonna go now my lashes have just dropped like everything's just gone wrong that could go wrong <laughs> Honey, I'm home. <laughs> oh my God, I just had, I'm not even kidding, the craziest Uber, well not craziest Uber driver ever. Like he was pretty young, but he was just like speeding and like was going through all the red lights and everything. I was like, I really hope this doesn't affect me. I don't want to die right now. You know what I mean? I want to go home. I want to watch Love Island. But I did bring the clips i didn't actually clip it back when i was at the rest oh my god i've just put them i didn't actually clip it back when i was at the restaurant and um i do actually really like having the fringe i feel like it adds to my hair but i also like now that i can also just completely clip it back and have it out of my face as well also my jaw is hurting a little bit again me yeah, i'm just gonna have to keep going back and stuff i also think i think i'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow because well this one keeps falling off because i'm just keep sticking it on with glue um well, i think i might get them done because also that one has fallen off so i think i might get them done and i had to paint them i can't remember did i show it in my last vlog was it this vlog or last vlog maybe it was this vlog i can't remember <laughs> honestly all these vlogs are like literally roll into one sometimes i'm like i don't even know i recorded a few clips when i was in the restaurant like our food and everything basically they have a set menu but the set menu was camembert, which I was actually really excited to try. Then I realised that, well, I didn't re well, I googled it and it has like animal something in it. So it's, it was not even vegetarian. And then they did a sharing hanging kebab, but they only did like a meat version and a vegetarian option. So we, and we asked like, oh, can we do like chicken prawn and halloumi? So I could like have the halloumi, but we they, <laughs> we couldn't do that. But it was fine because to be fair, then we just ordered off the main menu anyway. So I got hummus and pepper so good and then i got a hanging halloumi kebab wow that halloumi was gorge and i got a banoffee sunday for a dessert it had biscoff in it <laughs> it was just beautiful all right it was just gorgeous good morning i it's currently 12 o'clock <laughs> don't know how this has happened to be honest i honestly really do not know how it's already 12 o'clock it's kind of concerning but I honestly, at the minute, I'm getting so much sleep, but it also takes me a while to get to sleep. I think last night I probably ended up having like nine hours of sleep, but still woke up absolutely shattered. It's a little crazy. <laughs> it's a little crazy. I'm just making my morning coffee. I've actually done my morning skincare. I'm trying to get back into doing my skincare each morning and every night. I'm good at doing it at the night, but I just never really do it in the morning. But I'm trying to do my gua sha in again because... I feel like hopefully it'll help with my jaw situation because that is just awful. It is a little tender this morning, not gonna lie. Um, but I feel like hopefully, I just really want it to help me so bad. I also, I've let my cleaning down so bad. Like, honestly, I'm really lazy at the minute. I've like lost like, <laughs> This is me being like so real. Like I've literally just lost like motivation to do like the basic tasks. And the thing is, like if I think about it too much, I then I really stress out and freak out with myself for like not doing these things. But, like I just don't think about it, and then it doesn't get done. Anyways, I've also shrunk my jumper. I'm not an adult, okay? Like yeah, I'm 21. Yeah, I live on my own. I'm not an adult though. Like dog how you say i shrunk my jumper because it's a knit jumper i did it with another one i don't know why i did it i dried it in the dryer shouldn't have done that shouldn't have done that so luckily i did get it is oversized but now it's gonna be probably cropped so that's fun isn't it i feel like because it's 12 and i've not actually done anything yet i'm feeling really like shit <laughs> because i've not done anything so yeah i don't know also this is so funny like in the mornings. Slay girl. 
Slay queen. I say like and literally, basically, in every single sentence. Like, in every single sentence. I can't stop. I've always done it. And even the word um as well, like, oh. It's gonna be the most annoying video ever, probably on TikTok, but I'm gonna do a video where I can't say the words like and literally, or like, or try and not say them. <laughs> it's because I talk quite quickly. I'm trying to slow down now, so I don't say them. But I use the word literally <laughs> so much. I'm just like, lit I'm just like literally, 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 literally. I'm like, literally, like, Oh my gosh! I hate when an avocado isn't soft because, like, you try it. Well, I'm sad now. This avocado on toast is gonna be shit. Hard around the seed, and like now I can't get this avocado. I hate it. It pisses me off. I love it when it's just mushy, but then also it does give me the ick sometimes when I'm eating it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Good morning. Sometimes I wonder how people actually came up with this and thought, you know what? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Um, but it is making me feel like really bougie in the mornings. I'm like, mm, yeah, I do my LED mask. What do you do? Nothing. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna make my green juice actually. In fact, I still am gonna make this. But I saw this TikTok yesterday and it was this boy like talking about like, like bloom obviously this isn't bloom but like basically the same thing um and about like how he doesn't understand it and like it's probably just like microplastics and stuff and i'm like you're probably right but drinking it makes me feel like i'm doing something like i don't exercise so like this is what i do instead you know like this is my exercise i i did i did really see where he's coming from though to be fair because it's like there's what 21 ingredients in here and it's a powder like it's a bit crazy actually like when you think about it but let's not think about it because if we think about it for too long then we're just gonna gross ourselves out but maybe we need to gross ourselves out because maybe it is actually killing us anyways i like just making my little greens in the morning wait i can just like slip the straw through this hole though oh, i ordered last night actually have you seen that <laughs> have you seen that Kardashian? No. You seen Courtney Kardashian's brand that Lemmy Live, whatever it's called. I ordered the Lemmy Sleep things because oh my god, I can't sleep. Like genuinely, I wish I could be a person that could just like pass out on the bed. Not pass out on the bed, but like just out like down for the count, you know what I mean? I can't sleep. I was up last night again to like 2 a.m. just mindlessly scrolling. At literally nothing but I can't stop myself and I'm like literally not tired and I'll put my phone down I literally I actually put my phone down no I, no I went to bed late last night I just said I was up so I put my phone down and then in fact was it 2am I don't know I put my phone down and then I just lay there and I can't get to sleep like I literally cannot do it I can't fathom like my boyfriend as soon as his head hits the pillow he's asleep he is asleep I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And like, do you know when some people like sleep with their phones in their hands and they're just like, mm. how, how do you do that? How do you do it? Because I cannot do it. The time I can actually fall asleep, like just like that, watching something or something is when I'm hungover. That is the only time, and don't, don't get wrong, it's the best sleep ever. Because you wake up really confused and disorientated. But other than that, like that is just not happening for me. And I just don't. I can't understand it, I can't fathom, I can't fathom it. I, re I really can't fathom it. I've seen all of the TikTok that these let me sleep things make you literally pass out and go to sleep. So I ordered them and I just hope they do. But then I've been like paranoid thinking like, oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to like wake up in the morning. But I think I'll be fine, I think I'll be fine. But I don't know when they're gonna come. I had to pay 10 pounds in shipping and then 20 pounds in taxes. But I didn't realise that until like the end. And now I'm really annoyed by that because it's like, come on, like, why are you doing that? Just went to Tesco, did all my vintage parcels, and then I went to mailroom because we've got some presents. I've actually still not done my skincare this morning, which feels really weird, but we shall. 
do that after. First one is this one. Don't have any idea where it is, but it says fragile. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, shut up. Oh my God, sod off. So it's, it's YSL, but they've sent me a perfume as well. I actually never tried this perfume, Black Opium. They sent me PR yesterday, actually, like these new bronzers. Maybe we should do like a full face of YSL. Cause I love the YSL skin tint like so much. Like she is a bougie little girl now. Oh my God, that's so cute. It's like little, is it lipsticks or eyeshadows? Eyeshadows. But the Touche Eclat. <laughs> the Balerian Primer. I've actually never tried this. Oh no, I have tried it. I've tried it once or twice, I think. But I ended up giving it to my mum because I don't really use primers. But maybe we should actually give it a go. I just don't really think primers work. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they do. Eyeliner. I hope they sent me a perfume. That's so, so slay wise. So. Next one. This actually says, like my username on it so i don't know who this is from i think it might be nyx oh sick okay it's nyx it's their new little slick what's it called slick click fat oil oh wait i know what this one is oh I'm so excited. This is, um, well, I think, yeah, no, it is. It's Grace's Faces collab with the beauty crop, but part two of it, because part one was, oh, bloody hell, that was in like September now. That's crazy, like actually crazy. We've got another cookie. Oh, I love these cookies so much. Look how pretty she looks. Beautiful. This is the day to night set. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, there's a little note. Oh, it's got loads of like the Valentine's Day things in. Ooh, moisturizing and priming base. That's right up my street. Like I love a primer that's like skincare, you know? <gasps> oh. I'm actually really buzzing to try this. So this last one, I actually think I know what it is only because someone got sent it yesterday and I was like, oh my God, that's really sick. <laughs> So, I'm kind of hoping it is. If it's not, it's not. You'll see by the reaction on my face. But, it, no, I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> so, it's the Milan. Oh, my God, no. No, I'm actually so... I actually can't go right now. So, I used to, I actually used to use these Milani baked blush and bronzers. Oh, my God. Years ago, like... How old was I? I think, but this, I don't know if that was the shade I used, but I used the Milani Bake Blush and also a highlighter. I don't know if it's gonna be the same shades. Oh, I can't remember what shade I used, but these are actually phenomenal powder blushes and the bronzer as well. So I'm actually really buzzing. Oh, there's more. I'm actually really buzzing to have these back in my life. Dolce, I think that was the Bake Bronzer shade that I used. And I, did I have, I feel like I had all of these. Oh my god, I'm so excited. But that's not it. That's not... It doesn't stop there, okay? Then we get a freaking scooper and a whisk thing. Crummy double chocolate cookies. I'm sorry. I actually want to scream. Oh my god, it's vegan as well. What does it say? What you need... Just melted vegan butter. We need to make these, okay? We need to make them. Tell me this is a tote bag. <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> it's an apron! <laughs> oh, for frick off! It's an apron! <laughs> right, what's in here? This is Blondie's kitchen. Is this gonna be a Blondie? No, because I will fully devour this. Okay, I'm in fact actually going to make the mixture now because I feel like we need to make it. And then, because it says put it in the fridge for 20 minutes. So I feel like we make it. And then by the time we've done our skincare and everything, it'll be ready to go. I'm gonna actually melt the butter on the hob this, this time. 
So I feel like I feel on my quick is a slide. So we shouldn't be doing that. Right. 250 grams. I can't believe all this food. It's not good because I will eat it all. I need to use my other butter as well because this is my fresh one. I don't know why I've just done that. I'll stop because why is that only 160 grams of butter? Is this a joke? I think someone's having me on here. Why do we need 250? All right, now we let that melt. We let it melt. Now, I'm gonna actually turn that butter down a little bit. I'm just gonna keep it melting. That smell. Mmm, smells so good. Do you just pour all this in here? Oh my God. Mm. Wait, this is actually gonna make a lot of cookies. Oh my gosh. Sugar. Let's add the butter. I'm just gonna mix this slowly because I don't want it to go everywhere. I expect them to be this color. Like they are really chocolate. Okay, the oven is preheated. Let's start scooping. It says it makes 22. Which, like, that's quite a lot. Right, I feel like we can make these bigger, actually. Let's do bigger ones for those. Fine. And then we have a little bit of cookie dough left over that I can eat raw. <laughs> Cookies out. And I feel like they've cooled down. They're actually, like, a lot bigger than I thought they would be. But I've just had some tuna pasta. It was actually so good. But I'm just going to try one of these cookies now. I'm not going to lie. I feel quite sick because I ate a lot of the raw cookie dough. So hopefully these will still be nice, though. They're still a little bit warm. So it looks like inside. Mmm. Oh my god. It almost tastes like a brownie. Like a brownie cookie. You need a drink to like get that down. But wow. Frick me, they are so good. Happy Sunday. It is, yeah, it's now Sunday, okay. I don't vlog at the weekends. I go to my boyfriend's and we kind of just chill. There's literally nothing to vlog. And you know, when you just like, want to like just chill with your boyfriend, you know? Home now, it's currently half seven. I actually have two parcels. I also got sent actually the new Kylie Jenner lip balm. Sorry, why is every single person releasing a lip balm? I mean, <laughs> Kind of slay because I do love my lip balms, but I have too many. Oh my god, also want to update you. I booked in for Master to Botox. You know how I've been like going on about it? So I finally booked in, but it's only like two weeks away. A little while to wait, but I'm excited. I've also, I give up with that nail now. I need to get my nails done tomorrow anyways because Jesus Christ. But I'll, I'm going to be open now. I've, I've also booked in for <laughs> Fat Dissolver on my double chin because it's genetic because my mum and my nana are the same and no matter what weight I've been in my life like super super thin or like the way I am now I've always had a fat face and like a pocket here of fat that just will not go away and like I've gua sha I've done basically everything and it just doesn't go away at all so I'm not 100% if I'm going to get it done but I have booked in for it and yeah, so I, I'm scared, but the main one is the massive Botox, which I'm just so excited about now, and like, just like a lot of TikToks coming up now um, about it, and I'm just like really, I'm just excited to see the results and like what my face is gonna look like. To be fair, like one, it's gonna help the pain so much because I'm in agony, but two, it's gonna help, like, what's it called? Not help. It's gonna make my face appear slimmer, which. I'm, I am excited about because I don't, I'm not that keen on my face. Anyway, we have been sent, oh my God, I love this so much. It's so nice, but I've lost it. But it's the Fenty Beauty or Fenty Skin Cherry Lip Treat. And then we've also got, ooh, a face mask, cherry face mask, which I've not tried. Fenty Skin products are actually really good. I bet this smells gorgeous as well. <gasps> ooh. Whoa. It smells like cherry sours. <laughs> it smells good though. I'm excited to try that. And obviously the lip oil. I'm so confused. It's a YSL mascara, but they said there was a box the other day. Not complaining, I love a mascara. But um, I wanna go to a shop now because 
I need to get some food for my tea. We do also have all of these cookies left over, which can't lie, very excited to scoff them all. So yeah, I thought I do want to get some food from the shop, like, you know, like savory or to be fair, I fancy a salad. Cause then if I have a salad, then I can eat like five cookies and it cancels it out, you know? 